Hello everyone, today we talk about the French armed forces. In contemporary times we are witnessing the increase in defense funding uh, decided by Macron, which corresponds to the ambition of France to be at the forefront of research and development of military technologies. The objective is um, strategically to counter terrorism on the French national territory, to maintain the hegemony in geographical areas of French interest and this this concept of being at the forefront of research and development of military technology s naturally corresponds to the necessity that has been uh, present for many years in many Western militaries to concentrate on quality um, even in those countries such as France that have a massive armored force um, therefore, in part corresponding also to the reduction in numbers, but still making a structural change for the effectiveness, of course, of, of the of the world military. Um, this is the goal that France is aiming for. Right? Uh, in, in it's an ambitious program, which Paris has planned to achieve through uh, the financing of startups capable of developing. Uh, in fact, innovative technologies in the field of defense. Um, that the French armed forces have their eyes fixed on the future um, was, say, also evident uh, from years now. Who, uh, you know, participated to the parades of July the 14th, the anniversary of the storming of the Bastille, and on that occasion, uh, you could essentially observe this, this latest French uh, jewels. Uh, military-wise, for example, patroller tactical drones, uh, soldiers equipped with the, the Felon combat system, that is essentially Fantassin uh, Equipement et Liaison Integré, that is um, integrated infantryman equipment and communications, which aims at introducing this um, futuristic technology for infantry use and consumption, let's say, such as uh, the night slash day uh, observation viewer on the integral spectral helmet, the radio communication system with integrated GPS for real-time positioning, the binoculars with laser distance meter and thermal camera, the Leclerc tanks equipped with the latest generation aiming systems, the use of technologies capable of finding and destroying the enemy, while minimizing collateral damage, has allowed the French armed forces to achieve important results already in the fight against the jihadist groups in the Sahel, uh, where France is heavily involved. We'll see now the Balkan, etc. And um, today, the armed forces of Paris are engaged, in fact, essentially on two fronts, right? The internal one with operations to prevent terrorist attacks that uh, since 2015, as you know, have struck uh, in France as in, uh, in other Western uh, countries. Um, and this is, uh, and, and the external one, the external theater, thanks to these, uh, in fact, compact and well-equipped projection force to carry out anti jihadist operations. And of course, the two uh, are connected, given that France naturally has lots of immigration from the same countries in which uh, it uh, historically connected since colonial times. So France has undertaken a major restructuring to develop a professional military that will be smaller, more rapidly deployable, and better suited for operations outside, especially mainland France. Um, and the key elements uh, of such restructuring also include reducing personnel, uh, bases and headquarters, so rationalizing um, the, the strategic uh, organization but also the, the equipment and the armament industry in parallel. So the French armed forces are made of four elements fundamentally. One is the army, the armée de terre, uh, which counts uh, in you know, 118,600 um, regulars plus 23,000 reserves. The Navy, the Marine Nationale, 
which counts 37,000 regulars and uh, 7,000 civilians, 180 ships and 178 aircrafts. Uh, then the, the Air Force, the Armée de l'Air et de l'Espace, uh, 40,500 um, regulars and uh, more than 900 aircrafts. The gendarmerie, that is um, in fact in the French national subtle tradition since, since the French uh, Revolution, the, the national police fundamentally is, is, is one of the two national police forces of France is a branch of the French armed forces, so it's effectively a mil military, right? It's, it's incorrect to call it like in other countries of French tradition, of uh, like a paramilitary police. It's literally and uh, the armed forces. In fact, it's placed under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Interior with additional duties from the Ministry of Armed Forces. This counts um, one, uh, more than 100,000 employees plus 12, more than 12,000 volunteers. Now, mm, today there are around uh, 10,000 soldiers deployed on the national territory, 36,000 deployed abroad in the OPEX, so-called Operation uh, Extérieure. Then there are others that operate in Eastern Europe that were in, in the hundreds, now have been increased naturally with the current events uh, under the edges of NATO. And such continuous operational deployments are the reasons of the increase in, in funding because uh, up to a few years ago the, uh, the um, such operations had began to wait on the available resources. So uh, what we're witnessing now is the refunding of the uh, through the 2019-2025 uh, funding package uh, signed in June 2018 by President Emmanuel Macron, which increased uh, the defense uh, budget from 1.77 to 2 percent of GDP. So we're talking about 295 billion euros to be uh, allocated throughout these years, especially for the support of means and, um, and thousands of men deployed overseas. Uh, and in the absence of the new package of financial resources, the French operational capabilities would have been seriously compromised by 2023 uh, with a military downgrade that would have been quite um, similar to the resizing that occurred in the UK, for instance. And the new funding led to the creation of 6,000 new jobs, by the way, half of which uh, in the security service and cyber security as well as the strengthening of the internal security system to prevent attacks by Islamic extremists. Um, the French military spending in 2021 was uh, 40.9 billion euros, right? So uh, France has currently the sixth largest defense budget in the world and the first in the European Union. It has the largest armed forces size in the same European Union. So outside of NATO, that now France fully participates into, like you know that since the 50s, France was opposed to the uh, project of, of European common defense. Now things have changed, right? Uh, but France still is a, is a country that with its political and military tradition has definitely many interests uh, in the world and knows how to take care of them. Uh, and so it, it has... Um, uh, actively and uh, heavily participated in both coalition and unilateral peacekeeping efforts in Africa, the Middle East, the Balkans, uh, frequently taking a, um, a leading role in these operations. Macron confirmed the French commitment uh, to the fight against terrorism in the Sahel, especially while declaring himself in favor of the contribution of other nations, in fact, did participate. Uh, France is present in Niger, Mali, Chad, Burkina Faso, and the Ivory Coast with the Bahkan operation, which relies on 4,000 men equipped with uh, fighter planes and drones. And the mission headquarters and air forces are stationed in uh, um, N'Djamena, in Chad. Um, that uh, then there is a regional base in, in Gao in northern Mali while the special forces and intelligence services are located respectively in um, Owaga 
Dugo in Burkina Faso and Niamey, the capital of Niger. Also in Niamey, uh, there is the base uh, that houses drones, uh, valuable tools for surveillance and information uh, gathering throughout the, the region. And to these main bases are added the temporary ones, which can be established in different areas to support specific operations and usually mm, are managed by about 50 men per each. Um, and the Bakan puts um, a lot of emphasis on the joint use of special forces, intelligence, and aerial weapons for the destruction of terrorist training camps and the elimination of key figures in the local jihadist galaxy. The Dassault Rafale fighter uh, is a fourth generation multi-role aircraft and spearhead of the Paris Air Force, as you know, the, the master of this field. The Rafale program saw um, light in 1984 with the first experimental flight carried out by a uh, Rafale A in 1986. Uh, and um, entering to service in 2001. Today it is used by the aviation and navy as well as the, in the Bakan operation it was employed um, in, in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya and more recently in Syria. The Rafale A uh, has evolved into the um, two-seater B and single-seater C models both of which are in service of the French Air Force. The Rafale M for the Navy has some differences with um, compared to the other models is since it is in service on aircraft carriers. First of all, the structure of the apparatus has been reinforced and equipped with a stop hook. Built with composite materials in Kevlar, carbon, titanium and uh, aluminum lithium capable of ensuring robustness, but also a reduced radar track, the aircraft has state-of-the-art electronic equipment such as the fly-by-wire controls that is um, the essentially the electronic digital rather than mechanical or hydraulic and the TAL RBE2 radar. It is also equipped with TAL Spectre E-View that is electronic warfare and, and TAL slash uh, SAGEM OSF that is Optronic Sector Frontal uh, infrared search systems. Propulsion is ensured by two NC uh, SNECMAM882 engines capable of developing a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. The maximum flight range with three tanks is 2,000 nautical miles and the operating altitude of 15,000 meters in height. Um, as for armaments, the Rafale is equipped with a 30mm uh, GIAT-30 slash M791-125 um, round gun. The war load varies according to the mission profile. The fighter can carry up to 9.5 tons of armaments. For air combat, the, the aircraft can employ medium-range MDA MACA missiles of long-range MDA a meteor missiles with uh, while in the maritime environment it uses AM-39 exocet anti-ship missiles. The Rafale also employs a wide range of laser guided missiles such as those of the Paveway family, uh, anti-tank ammunition for runway destruction can be um, used as a launch pad for the SMP cruise missiles equipped with a tactical nuclear warhead. Uh, and speaking of the French Navy that has a great historical tradition next to, 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 to the army that is indeed the, the one you know, with the greatest military historical tradition in Europe, um, born in 1624, the Marine Nationale is one of the oldest in the world, in fact and consists of seven branches and six services, the Naval Action Force, the Submarine Forces, Naval Air Force, the naval fusiliers and commandos, the naval firefighters and maritime uh, gendarmerie, for a total of over 36,000 soldiers and more than uh, 100 vessels. The organization and location of the bases ref reflect the historical as the current French strategic uh, needs, the uh, most imp important installations on the uh, French national soil are those in the Mediterranean, port of Toulon, 
that is uh, the first naval base in Europe by size which holds most of France's force, um, Force d'Action Naval, comprising the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle as well as its uh, nuclear attack submarines. In total, more than 70% of the tonnage of the well, French Navy. Then the, the Atlantic uh, Ile Longue in Brittany and Cherbourg in Normandy. Other bases are located abroad and include uh, Camp de la Paix, for example, in Abu Dhabi, in United um, Arab Emirates, Dakar Sport in Senegal and Djibouti. Uh, this um, uh, lo location uh, of you know, French naval bases allows the uh, fleet uh, to quickly access uh, both the Mediterranean and the northern seas, the uh, Atlantic and Indian Oceans as well. For this reason, the Marine Nationale was able to deploy rapidly to support mm, war operations in Afghanistan in 2001 to 2014, in Libya in 2011, and to carry out anti-piracy operations off the coast of Somalia. The operation Atalanta started in 2008 by the European Union, uh, and again in, in progress being the, the context. The main battle group includes the uh, Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier with its Rafale fighters, the Charles de Gaulle is capable of carrying up to 40 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, three amphibious assault ships, one transport, uh, seven anti-submarine frigates, five general-purpose frigates and six submarines. Other smaller units are delegated to patrol the French territorial waters, while the Oceanic Strategic Force, made up of submarines, represents the backbone of the French nuclear deterrent service. The Navy is now engaged in a wider range of operations. Uh, since to, since 2014, uh, he, its men have supported the uh, troops involved in the Barkhan operation through the use of reconnaissance and ground attack fighters as well as rifle men, commandos and drones. French ships are able to intervene quickly in the Mediterranean basin, as we've seen, not only with offensive capabilities, but also to carry out evacuation of French citizens, as it happened in Libya in 2014. Um, speaking of the Air Force, another ace in the whole of Paris aviation is the Mirage 2000, also used in numerous operational theaters, including Libya, where it helped to enforce the no-fly zone establ uh, established um, after the fall of the Gaddafi regime. The aircraft saw uh, the light at the end of the 70s as an evolution of the Mirage 3, with the aim of solving the problems of control and low flight range. Um, the engineering team assigned to the project decided to adopt a delta wing configuration to allow for a greater load of fuel and ammunition. Fly-by-wire electronic controls were also introduced to keep the aircraft stable, even in the presence of extreme physical stress. A further contribution to maneuverability came from the introduction of heads-up um, heads display, that simply a transparent display that presents data without requiring users to look away from the usual viewpoints in the cockpit in a single SNE CMA M53-5 engine. Uh, the Mirage went through a series of modifications before uh, arriving to the version 5 in 1997, if I'm not wrong, with the production of the Mark I, the, um, the single-seater, and Mark II, the two-seater variants. The new versions feature an enhanced engine, five cockpit screens for mission control, uh, tile radar systems for guiding the Matra MICA. MICA stands for Missile Interception um, uh, Combat and Auto Defense. Missile d'interception de combat de auto defense. Um, the uh, Talnaha um, FL. I air um, navigation system and pods for targeting laser guided missiles. The weapon systems include two 30 millimeters, the um, EFA cannons, and specific ammo depending on the mission. The Matra uh, Magic 2 uh, surface to air missiles, laser guided bombs, cluster bombs, the MA and the AM 39 XOC uh, anti ship missile, and tactical atomic warheads. And like the Rafale, the Mirage 2000 
is currently engaged in counter-terrorism operations in this isle, where the French army, uh, French armed forces uh, also use drones. From the Niamey Air Base in Niger, French drones get take off every day to carry out reconnaissance and information gathering flights. Uh, these are the 5MQ-9 Reaper of the Air Force 1-33 Belfort Drone Squadron uh, armed with Hellfire missiles. Uh, Paris had um, initially decided to use unarmed aircraft, but the fluidity with which the terrorists move on the ground and the need to be able to engage them quickly made, made it necessary to to arm the aircraft. The Reapers have replaced the Arfang uh, drones in this theater operations now used on French territory with surveillance tasks and designed and built by the American General Atomics Aeronautical System. The Reaper is equipped with the multispectral targeting system, the uh, MTSB, uh, which has a wide range of sensors uh, such as infrared ones, color and monochrome cameras, image uh, intensifiers, laser designators and illuminators. The laser desi uh, designator allows the drone to guide bombs such as the, the Payway uh, 2, um, that is American made laser guided bomb to its targets. The MQ-9 Reaper can carry for Hellfire surface to air missiles, particularly effective for destroying armored targets and footed enemy columns. Uh, the uh, Reaper is operational thanks to two crews. The first uh, on the field is uh, responsible for takeoff and landings of the aircraft. The second, often in operational, in an operational base in France, deals with the execution of the mission. And the Cold War, uh, you know, was uh, was over up to a few <laughs> weeks ago, or at least. You know, we, let's not confuse what Cold War was with this one because it's really different. But um, uh, given the, the, you know, the the recent uh, situation, it comes to our mind how historically French public opinion, which is a serious one, statistically speaking, has always been in favor of using nuclear weapons for defensive purposes, right? And chiefly. Uh, to avoid seeing the country occupied by an enemy army again, like it, it, it happened during World War II. This uh, deterrent doctrine is known in France as force de frappe. Um, submarines, aircraft and over 300 warheads, uh, warheads make up the Paris Nuclear Deterrence Force, which is based on two uh, components, air and naval only. The um, force uh, oceanique stratégique the FOST, based in ile long use for uh, triomphant class ballistic submarines to launch M-51 missiles, one of which is always at sea. The uh, Air Force includes the, the Rafale and Mirage 200 and fighters for the deployment of the MSP tactical warhead, which has a range of 500 kilometers. The use of this type of weapon represents a form of warning before the use of conventional nuclear warheads against an enemy power. Fighters can take off from both ground bases and the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier, and their range is extended by in-flight supplies. In the event that a nuclear attack is ordered, this would be coordinated by the Jupiter Command, a bunker located under the east wing of the Elysee, completely autonomous and which allows the President of the Republic and the General Staff to keep in touch with the military commands and with foreign governments. Um, uh, terrestrial operations are the prerogative of the Armée de Terre and the structure of the forces together with the nature of the means deployed reflects uh, the new uh, French doctrine summarized in the Au Contact uh, Reorganization Plan, developed following the 2015 terrorist attacks. It provides for a significant deployment of men to uh, oversee the national territory as part of the Operation Sentinel 
and on a strategic level the remodeling of some divisions um, for with the use of easily projection means the aim uh, the AMX 10 RC and the A uh, the ERC 90 light tanks and the uh, VBC I is the vehicle being the combat infantry armored troop transport all of which are easily transportable by the C-130 and C-160 aircraft which are found today in most of the theaters where the French forces operate meet this purpose. Rapid intervention and surgical precision in the attacks are the characteristics of Sabah, an operation included within the Bakan mission. Sabah was launched in 2014 and the commanders of the uh, Commandement des Opérations Spéciales, there is a Special Operations Command in charge of carrying it, are engaged night and day in long range patrols aboard um, 444 vehicles equipped with Browning 50mm machine guns, Polaris squad bikes, and motorcycles. Their job is to find and eliminate key jihadist figures. So far, it seems that tens of terrorist leaders fell under the bullets of the special forces. Commandos move whenever possible at night, establishing observation posts during the day. The ground does not allow to exploit many coverages, apart from the dry river beds, the Vadi. Um, when uh, the special forces locate a target, they have several options, either attacking directly, uh, ordering an air raid, or as in the case of operations aimed at the assassination of individual elements, make use of their marksmen. Among the weapon systems in possession of the operators are the Milan and Javelin anti-tank missiles, the FN Minimi squad machine guns, the PGM Ultima Razio and the FR F2 sniper rifles, the Eclaton Cock 416 and the FN uh, SCAR carbines. The um, tactics employed by the commanders are those tested since World War II by the British SAS with ambushes and lightning raids, um, let's say, uh, using overwhelming firepower. So fr French armed forces today find themselves having to support and manage um, a system that deployed both abroad and on the national territory. The 77,000 men and women on active duty are joined by the reserve staff and 118,000 elements. Um, the, an important strategic measure for internal security operations, especially in the face of urban and demographic growth accelerated by the phenomenon of immigration. And Paris therefore needs to build an armored force capable on the one hand to being of uh, being deployed in the country streets in the face of security threats and on the other of projecting overseas to keep its hegemony intact in the geographic areas of strategic interests. Um, a double objective that is uh, absolutely that in is uh, that is one in in all that is absolutely worth any important um, and uh, that will bring also to further economic uh, commitment. So for today we stop here, just hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did please share it, otherwise leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my upcoming content. Uh, for now I think, uh, thank you heartily for listening to me, see you next time.